Good to have you along. Hey, look who's in the studio. Oh, yeah. Our uh, most handsome CEO we've had in the history of this television program and radio program, Chris Dawson, of course, the CEO of Arkimoto. Arkimoto is a publicly traded company under the stock symbol FUV. And look at the stuff they make up there on the screen. That's right from their website. That's some cool stuff. And we just found out a couple things that are going to um, knock your socks off here at Costa because Good. they are partnering with some local San Diego folks. That we Can we announce this yet or do we have to wait a week? <laughs> I have I've got my adult. We can say it? Yeah. Yeah. I got have you heard adult. of the Padres? Have you heard of Alicia Gwynn? Have you heard of, have you heard of uh, Ale Smith and the 394 Ale? All wrapped up in what I like to call Arkhamoto. Tell me, at least tell me there's a conversation about a vehicle that will transport the pitchers from the bullpen to the mound like oh, they used to do with hey, the baseball cars. You know, remember that? They used to put, remember the Chargers used to have like the, the helmet? The helmet exactly. Thing? That would take the dead people to the locker room. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. My, well, my marketing adult I know is already taking the notes yeah. on that. Wow. So awesome. Thanks for that. Hey, um, let's talk about, uh, let's talk about the company because you've been on a number of times on different time slots, but I'm going to give you a, an overview for people who haven't seen you before. What do you guys do? What are you manufacturing and, and, and where are you headed? Yeah, so we uh, manufacture uh, ultralight, ultra-efficient electric vehicle. And the, ho the whole point around this is, like, try to pro provide some degree of electrification that, like, regular people mm -hmm. can actually afford and induce sure. in their life, oh right? God. Today, people are making fuel and f food decisions, and they're not walking out onto the driveway and so like, oh, the climate, right? They're trying to figure out how to get there. Right. And so the people that could benefit the most from electrification, it's not accessible. And so we're trying to create a product that those folks can access, but is also reliable. It's all the things that they, they need, none of the things that they don't, and this allows us to drive that efficiency. So we're three times more efficient than your typical Tesla. So as you like to hear me say, is the same amount of get around for third the price. That's right. Right. Typical Arkimoto owners spend in 25 to 50 cents a day in operational costs for this vehicle to run around. I want you to define uh, MUV and FUV and tell us the difference between the two. Yeah, so the FUV was our initial flight flagship or the fun utility vehicle uh, and I like to highlight the utility piece there as kind of what I painted out there low uh, low operational cost covers 90% of your get around mm -hmm. uh, and if we look at the the data 90% of all drives that happen in the United States are uh, one or two people minimal cargo 35 total daily uh, miles tri uh, driven and three miles between and so does it make sense now to get a 6,000 pound SUV Right, right over and and to go get your latte right right no not necessarily but you know you want to load up the kids and go to dinner like the SUV now is the right tool for the job so we're not trying to be the right tool for the job but we're trying to be the right tool for 90 percent of the jobs that are, are being driven around there and we have this concept that we need these large visit uh, vehicles for the onesie twosie yeah. uh, applications like my poor vehicles that sit there collect dust because I'm just running around this thing all day and it's it's easy to get in park you can park it where motorcycles park right. so that same frame around the FUV is true around the MUV, which is the modular utility vehicle. And so we built this more for commercial customers, much like a tractor on a farm. To or a provide pizza delivery truck, for example. A pizza delivery truck. Uh, Very important. <laughs> uh, like the, ta the tap rig that we just built yeah. for the, the Gwynn Foundation, yeah. where you could literally tap off of that and you know pick, pick your fluid, right? Yeah. And so you know, next phase is kegerators and deli boxes and, and all those pieces. So, but we're not trying to to solve all of the implements, and I want to focus in on implement, just like a tractor on a farm has multiple implements based on the job it needs to do. Yeah. We provided an easy to integrate platform, mm -hmm. so now upfitters and customers can build their own interface, or they can take our tap handle design, our box design, or our flatbed design, and then roll that immediately to add value, or work with us to develop whatever implement they want, or upfit their own implement. What, what did you call it? You call it a deli what? What, was it, what did you call it? Deli box. Just like a chilled, a chilled box. a nice ring to that deli box, isn't yeah. it? Hey, also known as my hey swing around the deli box. Would you? <laughs> you know, it's interesting. In, in uh, higher demographic areas of the U.S., um, they've all sort of adopted uh, these off-road golf carts mm -hmm. or regular golf carts. The problem is, is to, to if you if you don't have a very precise way of charging these things, I've, and I've uh, not only have, have we had one, but I've talked to many people, you can't charge it full time. You have to have a hitch in the giddy up. You have to have it on a timer, and then if you if you don't if you don't uh, charge it for a period of two weeks, you're buying new batteries. And batteries are for a general uh, golf cart. They're about twenty five hundred bucks. Yeah. 
and the average golf cart owner buys at least six sets of batteries in the course of six years. Yeah. And that's ridiculous. This kind of solves that same problem. A, it's more functional, it's safer, it's beefier, and it ha doesn't have the same problems as a golf cart does. Yeah, well, the channel Billy Mays, and wait, there's more, right? Yeah. So <laughs> the, the three, this three-wheel application, right? So you're talking about having special charging and all those other right. aspects. It's so efficient, and the battery is so small that the price point isn't far beyond what the lead-acid solution for golf carts are. Yeah. You can charge it off a 110 outlet. You don't need special charging at your house. It'll cover the, the typical 35 miles overnight that you would have driven anyway. Sure. And then we have customers today, we also have a golf bag uh, uh, adapter. Yeah. So you can actually, in your garage, load it up, hit the freeway, yeah. drive all the way to the golf course, drive it on the golf course, do 18 holes, and drive, drive home. home. You don't need a golf cart. Yeah, brilliant. It's Greg, you it's got your name brilliant. all, that was got yeah. your well, name all but over. Yeah, I mean, part I'm thinking about going 80 miles an hour on a golf course. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to do. You know, so what you're saying is at least something that you do yeah. on the golf course goes 80 miles an hour? <laughs> exactly. Right, right. So, so basically what's interesting here is that most of these people in these high demographic areas are using it for exactly what you say. They're going to get their latte in the morning. They're going to yeah. go take the kids out to breakfast. Uh, they pick up the kids from school. But they're not taking long trips. And, and I would argue that most of us don't travel much more than 35 miles a week mm -hmm. unless they're coming to the studio. Or not. But the long story short is you, you sort of have the, the, the space cornered. Um, what's next for you guys? What, what, what are you looking to work on and what are you focusing on for you guys? So we're really focusing on the FUV, the MUV, the Deliverator is a contoured version of the MUV and really I should say that the MUV was us listening to customers and what they wanted and what they experienced with the Deliverator which is just kind of contoured, that second seat is replaced into a storage area and though it has a ton of tor storage capacity, put in large square objects. That's the there. Deliverator. And that's the Deliverator right there. Yeah, that's good stuff. Uh, and so for the right application, we actually have uh, uh, we have these running around in San Diego today and they love it for like smaller baked goods or food items like that works well but where it falls down is large box delivery and that's hence the MUV that we rolled out in order to support that. I think there's a large box delivery in Mike Acosta outside of the uh, the office, that bar in the Cardiff. Uh -huh. After a few many hours, they take one of the deliverers, drop his butt home, Delivery. come back and pick up Greg, <laughs> drop him home, and they've got themselves, uh, they're, they're out of uh, liability. Um, what is the price point right now? So right now it's 19.9. Wow. And to, can I add some more facet of, of what's next? Yeah. If you're talking about getting picked up, being hammered at the bar. Um, at least I assume that was alluded, well, he was alluded I mean, to. Um, well, he, so he's when, actually driving me. So right, right. What, with our with our partner at Faction, to which we, we own a bit of and we've been working with for uh, the better part of two years, developing a driverless solution. We have active FUVs driving driverlessly today, delivering baked goods up and down the peninsula in San Francisco. We have very uh, uh, and all up that whole peninsula, as well as various other pilot programs we're rolling out. And what that'll look like is a vehicle on demand. You know, so let's say you get blackout drunk, they're trying to take care of you, they'll pull up the app, order their FUV, FUV shows up on its own, whoever's sober can then get in there and drive you home, and then when you're done, you hit return, and the vehicle returns itself, goes and grabs the next customer. Oh so when we're God. trying to see, see that's, me. see that's, yeah. When we're trying to solve driverless, so Everyone's allowing perfection to be the enemy of good here yeah. on this particular solution. Sure. And where it gets hairy is when I put an organic organism on that, on that three-wheel unit and then try to drive it autonomously. But if there's nothing alive on that vehicle, uh, we have a lot more flexibility to do what we need yeah, to plus do. Plus no human error involved. Right. And so now, and what we're noticing is if you're, if you're Uber and if you're rent any of these solutions, 90 plus percent of the people that are doing this can drive and would rather drive. Right. I think every Uber I've ever taken, I would have rather been the guy driving. <laughs> right? totally, yeah. So that this, this right. opens that up. So now you take a 20, 30, 60 dollar Uber ride and now it's a buck 50, three bucks, six dollar yeah. right, right. cost. Right. And there's more margin in it sure. for, the, for the company. Plus there's a cool factor in riding in one of those oh, things, let's sure. face it, coming back from the, you know, all the beach locations. So like we have, we have pilots right now where imagine like a flagship store that's trying to restock things. Yeah. yeah. And now you automate that whole process and delete that entire infrastructure that you had to build just to keep the right amount of toothpicks on the wow. show. Chris Dawson, can't wait for you to come back on. Archimoto is Love the it. name of the company. FUV, FUV is their stock. Some of you can also go to archimoto.com. Much more uh, big biz to come. But Chris, we'll have you back in San Diego. Look, did you see, did you see the start of you there for a minute? There are all kinds of San Diego locations on there. We'll catch you next week from Eugene, I'm assuming, or whatever part of the country that you're in. We'll get you back in San Diego as soon as we can. Chris Dawson, ladies and gentlemen, Archimoto. More big biz coming up.